earth sun and moon the sun is the main source of light and when the moon or the earth comes in the way of this light a shadow is cast this shadow is an eclipse eclipse the earth revolves around the sun in a fixed path called orbit the moon orbits around the sun therefore while moving the earth sun and moon cast shadow on each other when a celestial body is temporarily hidden by the shadow of another body the event is called an eclipse when the sun is hidden in a shadow we call it solar eclipse when the moon is covered by a shadow it is called the lunar eclipse solar eclipse when the moon covers the face of the sun as viewed from the earth we call it the solar eclipse the moon's shadow on the sun during a solar eclipse can be divided into three portions the portion within which the moon covers the sun totally this portion is the umbra the portion within which the moon is in front of the sun completely but it is very small to cover it up completely the portion within which the moon is in front of the sun but not totally this portion is called the penumbra lunar eclipse when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon its shadow blocks the face of the moon this is known as lunar eclipse in lunar eclipse there are two shadows one inside the other the inner shadow is called the umbra and the outer one is called the penumbra the umbra is darker than the penumbra a lunar eclipse does not have much effect on the earth but a solar eclipse has during a lunar eclipse we can see the shape of the earth as a circular shadow on the moon lunar eclipse occurs only on a full moon day satellite any object or body that moves around a planet is known as a satellite the moon orbits around the earth it is therefore known as the earth's natural satellite moon and its phases the revolution of the moon around the sun causes different amounts of moon's phase to be lit up by the sun depending on the position of the moon that is why the moon appears to change shape these changing shapes of the moon that is every night are called the phases of moon there are eight phases of the moon the names of the phases are according to the shape of the visible part of the moon new moon The face of the moon in which the side of the moon facing the earth does not get any sunlight is called new moon. The moon cannot be seen during this phase. Waxen crescent. The face of the moon in which only a thin portion of the moon can be seen is called waxen crescent. During this phase the moon appears to grow. Half moon. The face of the moon in which only half of the moon can be seen is called half moon. Waxing gibbous. The face of the moon in which most of the moon is visible is called waxing gibbous. Full moon. The face of the moon when we can see the entire face of the moon is called full moon. Warning gibbous. The face of the moon when we can see almost the whole of the moon is called warning gibbous. During this phase the moon appears to become small. Half moon. During this phase we can see only half of the moon. Warning crescent. The face of the moon in which only a thin portion of the moon can be seen is called warning crescent. Artificial satellites. There are man-made machines also that have been sent to space to orbit around the earth these are known as man-made or artificial satellites these satellites help to gather many different kinds of information for predicting weather understanding the universe more communication networks like television signals mobile connections and radio signals monitoring natural disasters like forest fires and volcanic eruptions The first satellite in space was launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. Many spacecrafts have also been sent to planets like Mars to study more about them and to look for the presence of water on their surface. Now let's recall. The moon and the earth form shadows called eclipses while moving around the sun. 
When the moon covers the face of the sun as viewed from the earth, we call it the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse causes the sky to go dark because the sun's light gets blocked by the moon. When the earth comes in between the sun and the moon, its shadow blocks the face of the moon and causes lunar eclipse. During lunar eclipse, we can see the shape of the earth as a circular shadow on the moon. It occurs only on a full moon day. The moon orbits around the earth. It is the earth's natural satellite. The changing shapes of the moon that we see every night are called the phases of the moon. Thank you.